Texas rig is the very fundamental of bass fishing, but there's a lot that goes into Texas rigs that people may or may not think about. And for everyone that doesn't know about a Texas rig and what a weight will do for you, about what line size will do for you, about what reel speed will do for you, and rod action. These are all basic things, but also things that people overlook sometimes because we just assume that everyone knows what to throw when throwing a Texas rig. First of all, I'm gonna start with a rod. This is the Xfinity Pro seven foot one medium heavy rod. This is a great Texas rig rod. Basically, you've got a rod that's got a good tip to it, but you've got a really good backbone to drive the hook into those fish. That's a really, really strong start to what you wanna do with a Texas rig. I usually always go on the heavy side of line, 17 pound fluorocarbon line or 20 pound fluorocarbon line. The new Contra from Strike King is the primary go-to line for me, and that's what I have rigged up. Next thing that you really need to focus on is your reel and your reel retrieve. Seven five to one or a high gear ratio reel is what you want for a Texas rig. A lot of people aren't understanding why, but when they eat a Texas rig, those fish will swim off and they'll swim toward you and they'll swim to the side. You have to take up all that line and then drive a hook into them. And if you've got a lower speed retrieve on your reel, you're gonna miss that bite often. I see it too many times. It's a common mistake, but you really want a high speed reel. And then you start moving into your hooks and weights. This is a 3 8 ounce Tour grade tungsten weight. And this is a four aught, just a regular Z neck hook. And I've got that weight pegged there. Those are things that I always do when I'm fishing a Texas rig. Those are really great starting points. You can go lighter on your weight. You can go to an eighth ounce. You can go to three quarters ounce and it goes heavier from there. All that depends on how deep of water you're fishing and what vegetation you're fishing. Three eighths ounce is a really good starter weight. That's an all around weight, whether you're fishing from the bank or you're fishing from a boat flipping, it doesn't matter. Those are really good weights and good hook sizes, line sizes, things that you want to start with and to learn from. Once you get your feel and once you know what bait you're going to use, you'll be able to change your weight from there and your hook size if needed. If you need to go to a three aught or if you need to go to even a bigger hook, a five aught, if you had a beefier piece of plastic on there, I always just err on the side of that four aught. It's a great medium size hook that's good for any size fish. And these are some tips that'll really help you down the road and get you a basic Texas rig setup.